Infinitelight.com. And in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this infinite loop graphic using Adobe Illustrator. So we'll go ahead and get uh, started here with Illustrator. I'm going to open up a new document and I'm going to use a, a custom size of 1280 by 1280 pixels and go ahead and click create for that. And the first thing we want to do is just make sure we're working with a similar view here. What I have open here are the color menu, is the color menu, the stroke menu, and the pathfinder menu. And you could uh, toggle those by going to window. You just go to window and select color, pathfinder, and stroke, and these should get these three little flyout windows, and you can position them however you'd like. Just as long as we have those three panels open for this tutorial, we're good. The next thing we want to do is go to view, uh, where it says smart guide. Make sure that's turned off. Snap to pixel, we want to turn that off as well. We only want snap to point turned on for now. And then we'll go to show grid. And come to think of it, we'll go back to view and we're going to turn on where it says uh, snap to grid. We're going to snap to grid as well. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is create a circle. So I'm going to come over here to the, sh uh, the shapes tool. I'm going to click and hold on that so we get this little fly out menu. And I'm going to go down to the ellipse tool. And I'm going to zoom in over one of the uh, intersecting areas of these grid lines right here. I'm just going to hold alt and roll up the mouse wheel. And I want to put the cursor right on the intersection of two of those main lines right there. And once I've done that, I'm just going to click and drag to start creating an ellipse. And then I'm going to hold Alt and Shift so it creates it from the center. And I'm going to drag this line out until it snaps to the next um, bold guidelines right behind it. And once we've done that, I want to come up here to where it says uh, ellipse where we have this little white icon. I'm going to turn off the fill and click out of that. And I'm going to come over here to the stroke tab and I'm going to change the weight of that stroke to 40. So hit 40 and hit enter. And what I want to do now is deselect this by hitting control shift and A and that's going to deselect it. And then what I'll do is I'm going to create another ellipse going from the center. So click and drag and then hold alt and shift so it comes out like that and snap it to the next main uh, grid line like that. And we end up with something like that. And we're going to do this three more times so that we have five of these ellipses. So I'm going to hold Alt and roll down the mouse wheel a little bit to zoom out. I'm going to hold Control, Shift, and A to deselect everything. And I'll come back over here and do the same thing. Hold Alt and Shift and click and drag out to the uh, the grid line right there. And Control, Shift, A to deselect it. Do the same thing right here. Create another one of those lines. Control, Shift, A. And we're going to do this one more time so that we end up with five of these lines, uh, or five of these ellipses rather. And we go like that. And there we have our five ellipses. So what I want to do now is let me zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to go to view and where it says hide grid. I'm going to get rid of the grid. So go ahead and click on hide grid. Hide grid. And then we'll go to view and we'll turn off snap to grid. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the select tool. And I'm going to click and drag over all of these ellipses. And I'm going to go to uh, object, path, outline stroke. And once I've done that, I'll come back over here to the ellipse tool and click and hold on that till we get the flyout menu so we can grab the rectangle tool. And I'm just going to click and drag to create a long rectangle going like that. And uh, once we've done that, I'm going to come over here to where it says height. And I'm going to change that to 40. So, we have, so the height is 40 pixels. And then once I've done that, I'm going to grab the select tool. I'm going to bring this down here towards the bottom. What we're going to do now is we're going to snap one of the corners of this rectangle onto the corner of one of these ellipses. And let me show you. Let me click on this just to show you. I'll grab our, our direct select tool. There's a main pixel, like a, almost like a corner pixel, at the, uh, at the bottom of each ellipse. And we're going to snap the corner of each rectangle that we create onto the bottom of that. So let me deselect everything. I'll go back to the select tool. I'm going to grab this rectangle. And I'm going to, hold on, let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. I'm going to hold control on the keyboard and then grab one of these corners right here. And I'm just going to click and drag and snap it onto the corner of the ellipse right here. And you'll know it's snapped once the cursor color changes from black to white. So there it is. And now it's snapped. I'm going to make the width of this. I'm going to bring that down a little bit. We want this to be, we want this to uh, fly out a little bit further than the edge of this biggest ellipse right here, but not too much. Maybe something like that is pretty good. And I'm going to create a duplicate copy of this by holding Alt and then just clicking and dragging. And we'll have a duplicate copy. Once we've done that, I'll hold Control, grab this corner right here and snap it onto this bottom portion. And we're going to do this three more times. So I'm going to hold Alt, click and drag, hold Control, grab that corner, snap it on there. We'll do this again. We're going to create a few more copies. Wait till the cursor uh, changes to white. That's how you know it's snapped. And again, I'm going to hold control, grab this corner, snap it onto here, and there we have that. So 
Uh, the next step would be to get rid of these areas between those horizontal rectangles that we just created. So I'm going to click and drag over this entire graphic to select everything. And I'm going to zoom in on this area right here by holding Alt and rolling up the mouse wheel. And if you'd like to pan the page around, what I'm doing is pressing down the space bar and then clicking and dragging. That's how you can move the page around pretty easily. And with, with, with all of that selected, we want to go to the Shape Builder tool, which is right here. You can use Shift-M as a keyboard shortcut. And once we've done that, I'm going to hold Alt and go ahead and just click on each of those segments to delete them from those, uh, the, the, uh, the space between those horizontal rectangles. I'm just holding Alt and clicking to get rid of them. And let me uh, go back to the Select tool. I'll zoom back out by holding Control and rolling down the uh, mouse wheel. And what I want to do now is let me click and drag over the edges of those five rectangles right here. I'm actually just going to bring the width of that in a little bit. We don't need that to be that long. Maybe something like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a duplicate copy of all of those. I'm going to hold Alt and just click and drag to create a duplicate copy. And now I want to flip them around vertically so we can do the same thing on this side here. So I'm going to bring the cursor to the top right corner over here. And once I move the corner, once I move the cursor out of that corner, you're going to notice a little rotate icon appears. And once you get that icon, you can just click and drag to rotate the object. And then you could hold shift to lock it onto a vertical axis like that. And what I'll do now is let's click off of that to deselect everything. I'm going to click on this one right here, this one rectangle. I'm going to hold control, grab the corner, and snap it onto the left edge of the ellipse right here. And I'm going to do this to the rest of these one by one. Just click and drag each one, snap it on there. Again, the uh, cursor will change to white once it's snapped. And we'll put that last one right there, just like that. And again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click and drag over the whole thing to select everything. And I'll go back to the Shape Builder tool. And I'm going to zoom in over this area by holding Alt and rolling up the mouse wheel. And what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for these little lips, these little curves on the left edge of each object. So let me zoom in a little more. I'm going to hold Alt and click on that to get rid of that. And I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. I'm going to hold Alt, click on that, get rid of that one, get rid of that one. And then finally, I'm going to have to zoom in a little more, get rid of that one. And then I'll go ahead and just punch out these other ones as well. And again, I'm just holding Alt and clicking on it to get rid of it. Just get rid of all of the, uh, the objects running beneath the uh, horizontal rectangles. Now I'll go back to the Select tool. And what I'm going to do, what, what, with everything selected, I'm going to come over here to the Pathfinder window, and I'm going to click this button right here that says Unite. And that's going to combine everything into one object. And what we could do now is just hold Alt and Shift and grab one of the corners and just scale it down a little bit. We don't need it to be that big. And now that we have this one side created, we can go ahead and create the rest of the uh, the rest of our shape here just by uh, duplicating it. So I'm going to hold, I'm going to click on it to select it, and then I'm going to hold Alt and click and drag it to create a duplicate copy. And again, I'm going to bring the cursor out here to the outside corner until it turns into the rotate icon. And I'm just going to rotate it around clockwise and then hold shift to lock it like that. And then let me zoom in a little bit. I'm going to hold control, grab this node and snap it onto this node. And we're going to do that. Again, I'm just going to hold alt and click and drag on this. Get the rotation icon, rotate it around, then hold shift to lock it onto the axis. Hold control, grab that icon, put it right there. And we'll do that one more time. Alt click it to create a duplicate. Rotate it around. Hold control, snap these corners together like that. And now we can zoom out and click and drag over the whole thing and unite it together like that. And if you want, you could even rotate it around like that. And there we have our infinite loop icon using Adobe Illustrator. So that's how you can do that. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.